Hello everyone and welcome to Mineplex. Now, it has been a while since I've done anything on Mineplex at all. And you can hear the music in the background. Basically, I've been playing on Hypixel and Cubecraft and iCraft. And that's about it. And I've been kind of ignoring Mineplex. And Mineplex has actually gone down in popularity. Most of the time, Hypixel will have around 40,000 players on a weekend. Mineplex will be at like 8, 9,000. I mean, 8, 9,000 is not bad for Minecraft server. It's just that Hypixel has grown like crazy. And Mineplex has stayed around the same, uh, maybe shrunk a little bit. But anyway, guys, there's a brand new game where you could get gems by killing people in the game. But the longer you stay in the game, uh, the more powerful you get. But if you die... Uh, you lose all your gems. Well, not all the gems you have in your account, but all the gems that you've earned in the game. So, it's kind of a high-risk, high-reward sort of thing the longer and longer you stay in. You can earn thousands of gems playing this. The only way to get out with all your gems is to live long enough to find a place where you can stand still for 10 seconds and type the command, uh, and then it'll have you stand still for 10 seconds and it teleports you out. So let's see if we can get any gems going. Let's enter the world. Gem Hunters. We've already got... A little underground area we can go to. And I lowered my mouse sensitivity drastically to be more in line with my Overwatch uh, sensitivity. Hopefully I can uh, I can do all this a little bit better. Did I get any gems? Oh, I got 100 gems. Wait, I have 100 gems earned? Of course, I don't really need any gems. So playing this game mode is mostly just for fun for me. Because I have, you know, I have 60,000 gems. And I already have everything you could, like, possibly buy. Oh, man, you get wealthy and beggar tags in your name. Wait, if I say GG, I'm a beggar. Oh, wow, there's so many people on this world. Look at this. Millionaire. Millionaire. Bankrupt. Oh, that person's got full iron. He's way back there. You can kind of see him. I'm just going to run forever and ever. And maybe, maybe Diva on, Diva on Overwatch. Diva on OW. Wow, Diva on Overwatch. That's literally their name. I love Overwatch, dude. It's like my favorite game right now. Oh, you finally running away? Was it not worth it to chase me? Okay, it wasn't. We're good. Boots. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Also, your inventory is completely locked up, and you can't really use it. Can we open garages? No. But this is a rather big map, I will say that. We got three eggs. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So, guys, yeah, what you have to do is you have to cash out um, and then stand still for 10 seconds, and then you just disappear from the world, and you get to keep all the gems. So, wherever the basketball court is, there's a supply drop coming in. Ooh, give me this good stuff. Ooh, I got a bow and some leggings. I bet you a thousand dollars I can get down from up here without dying. Also, I got a bow and a sword. All right, let's try this. All right, I lived. We're good. I just need to uh, gain a little bit of health before I go any farther. Oh, there's a chest on the wall there. Is there any way to make it over there? All right, so that's covered up by glass. So I do need to go on the roof, jump off onto these ledges, make your way down the ledges to that chest. I bet that's what you have to do. You really have to manage your inventory in this game. All right, let's see. Two chests right here. Ooh, 30 gems. Right-click to consume. Um, all right, cool. No, no, not cash out. I don't want to cash out. 30 gems. Oh. Oh. Ah! This guy found me. Uh-oh. Not good, not good. Very not good. I need a better sword, dude. Hey, you can play with the note blocks, though. I wonder if anyone heard that. All right, well, here's a cool building. I'm out of food now, though. Another chest. Probably lame stuff. Oh, no, iron chest plate. That is not lame at all. That is indeed not lame at all. Is this the supply drop location? Is it marked by beacons? Supply drop in 12 minutes. Oh, is that a safe zone? I assume this is a safe zone, because there are people everywhere right now. Oh, cool, I'm in the safe zone. Awesome. Oh, cool, you can buy stuff. Oh, you can buy weapons. Quest master. Open a supply drop. Warrior, kill 10 players. Oh, man. Sell. Oh, you can sell stuff. Oh, this is cool. Uh, egg. Confirm. Plus two gems. Oh, man. That is rough. Uh, what can I buy from John? A mushroom. Great. Nobody has, like, incredible armor. Oh, this guy's got 3,600 gems. This guy's got 50. Buy from Bob. There's no way I'm getting out of here, so I'm going to cash out here. And, uh, yeah, keep my 132 gems. That was fun, so that's a new thing on Mineplex. But one thing, guys, that we haven't played in so long is good old Dragon Escape. Man, it's been forever. This is probably the best Mineplex game, and it's boosted right now. 16 out of 16 players in here. 
Let's go. Jumper kit always. Jumper kit is the best kit. Here we go, guys. Who's Douglas? What's up, Douglas? All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, it's going to be an uncut. Uh, I haven't played this game in, like, forever, but you know what? It's going to be, like, an uncut. Already messing up, but it's going to be an uncut run of this map where I do it completely perfectly other than that starting bit. That was just a fluke. Not going to happen again. I'm going to go all the way to the end, and I'm going to end up winning. You watch. I'm going to take this stupid shortcut that every pro takes. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, we're on the Iceland's map. Okay, okay. Oh, Frostra. Not not Iceland's, but... Uh, yeah. There's Douglas again. This time will be an actual uncut uh, thing of me completely owning this map. And uh, we will be absolutely winning it. Completely and thoroughly beating this map. And I'm sure I still remember all of the... Um, Shortcut locations like here, yeah, of course, right there. Um, you know, drop down the corner, boom, boom, go straight to here, done, up the stair, eh, like this, boom, buddy, boom. All right, I'm making it pretty, pretty well so far for this gloriously uncut video, and I think I was supposed to skip here. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to skip here, but I didn't. Uh, and then it recharges. Right before you get to the end here, and you skip like this, boom. So now I have one leap left for the very end. Oh man, there we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! Did I do it? No, I fell. No. Ah. <sighs> Whoa. Okay, this is new. I haven't seen this victory thing, but I got second place. Second place, not bad. All right, guys, here we go. Douglas is not gonna win against me this time. I spawned all the way on the right, which is one of the worst places to spawn, um, but it's it's not that bad. I also started in the exact same spot there. Whoa. Okay, someone just leaped over the top, which is a terrible place to leap. You know, I'm gonna take the safe route this time. I'm not gonna go all the way to the right and do that stupid leap. I don't think anyone else did either. Oh, someone tried, and they absolutely failed. Oh, is that is that where everyone leaps now? Is that the new leaping place? Because I don't remember that as the leaping place. Uh, apparently times have changed. People still leap here, though. That is for sure. Yep, and I still made it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really want to make it to the end. Um, but so far, other people are ahead of me. Which is not ideal. Okay, we got this, guys. We got this. Easy town. Easy peasy town. I still remember how to do all of it, even though I haven't played this game in months. Um, yeah, we do leap there. That's right. Whoop, there we go. Strafed it. Hey, dude, what's up? <clears throat> nope. Okay. That was embarrassing. Yep. Okay. Okay. Why is that little tiny jump so difficult? Okay, there we go. Finally. Wow, that was hard enough, wasn't it? Okay, mouse, mouse, turn. Mouse, what are you doing? My mouse is acting up, guys. This, oh, okay. Go on the sensor. There we go. Uh, okay. Home stretch, guys. Home stretch. Four. Dragon Escape. The first game of it that I've played in months. Well, not the first game, but. Rawr. Yes. I did it. Made it to the end. Completed it. Uncut. You saw it firsthand. That guy was just waiting, though. Oh, 107. It shows you your time at the end. It was 107 seconds point something. That's cool. So now you can actually have, like, world records for Dragon Escape. That's pretty sweet. Another classic minigame that I love on Mindplex is, of course, One in the Quiver. Oh, this was my go-to game back in the day. This was it. Oh, man. Oh, and that game just started, didn't it? It did. All right. Well, I'll join this one. Oh, no. I'm on the... Why am I using the Brawler kit? No, I want the, I want the Jumper kit. All right, ninja. Oh, yeah, I have the ninja kit because I got all the achievements for this game. Uh, enchanter, slam shooter. I remember that. You slam someone, you shoot them in the air, you get two arrows. Brawler, no, jumper. Set as my default kit, please and thank you. This guy literally has easy on the back of his uh, skin. Look at that. But I'm actually using the jumper kit, which is good because now I can actually wreck these people. All right, so we got a double jump 180. This game is all about the double jump 180 life, guys. Double jump 180, hit him with a bow. Oh, man, guys, people are starting to get on and play Overwatch. I gotta finish up this video quick so I can go join him. I've got my sword. I'm 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 still annoyed how they switched it from an axe. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be dueling it out. Draw. Okay, we both missed. 
Okay. Uh, nope. You missed me. Missed me. Missed me. Oop. I got him. Yes. All right. Oop. I missed. Nope. I even bought that cool arrow trail. Oh, and I was killed. Okay. Uh, but this is such a fast-paced game. I absolutely love it. How did that miss? No. How did that miss? Yes. I got him. I got him. So far, I've only had melee kills. Oh. No. Come on, dude. Oh, this hurts. Come on. Wow. Have I gotten worse at this game? Only melee kills so far. That's fun. Finally got one. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. I got this. Nope. Oh, man. People cleaning me up like crazy. Long shot. Should not have gone for it. That was a dumb idea. And I was I was killed from behind. Okay. Um. Oh, here's one. Come on. Oh, no. All right. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, hi there. Gotta get ya. Get ya. Nope. No, no mercy. Oh, and, and someone killed me from behind again. No. Okay. I'm pretty far behind now. People are getting tons of kills. Someone just got unstoppable. Um, 11 kills in one life. So, they're on a rampage right now. Um, come on. All right. This person's just beating this other guy up. Can I get both kills? No, I can't. Absolutely can't. Come on. Yes. Oh, give me that. All right. I'm at eight. Eight kills. Can I go for bronze? Can I go for bronze kills? This guy has that face on the back of his skin. I hate that. Yes. Oh, I got, I'm on a triple kill. Three kills. Oh. Third place. And this is a cool little uh, victory thing. Whoa. But anyways, one of the quiver. Fast paced. Uh, it takes a lot of skill. One of the quiver. It really does. Minecraft PvP in itself isn't exactly the best for demonstrating skill. Of course, once you learn how Minecraft PvP works, if you just learn basic strafing and uh, how to hit someone with a fishing rod, and if you can click really fast, like people literally vibrate their hand to click up to 11 times per second. It's crazy what people do. Just to play Minecraft PvP, like, which isn't even a competitive thing uh, very much. Like, you wouldn't believe it. But what I like about one of the quiver is that it is super skill-based. You have to use your leaps and you have to aim with the bow, uh, just like, you know, an FPS game. Like, how you have to aim with your bullets. You have to actually aim instead of just seeing how fast you can spam your mouse and strafe and, uh, fishing rod and sword, fishing rod, sword. There is a fair amount of skill to the, you know, bad lion PvP, where fishing rod, sword, fishing rod, sword. But I do think there's a lot more skill in a real, uh, designed for skill uh, game, like Overwatch even. Overwatch takes a lot of skill to be in the top brackets. I mean, of course, there's some heroes that take less skill, like Reinhardt or Symmetra, but it takes a lot of skill to play in the high levels. And I think it's the same as One of the Quiver. One of the Quiver, I wish it was more popular because it has so many high skill elements to it. You have to aim with your bow. You have to be good with it. You have to use your leaps. Of course, you, there is a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand PvP in there, a little bit, but that's basically akin to just meleeing people in an FPS game, which, of course, isn't designed to be super skillful anyway. Close-up meleeing people as the main form of PvP uh, is not a very good form of PvP. But anyway, guys, um, I haven't opened any mythical treasure in six months. I've been collecting it because I'm legend rank, but I haven't been opening it, so I have 18 mythical chests to open, so we're going to crank through these super fast. One, two... Three, four. Nothing good. Nothing good. Open, 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 open. Ooh! Legendary Rise of the Elder Guardian. It's a win effect. I, I've never won a win effect. Hold up, hold up. Where are my win effects? Win effect. Um, oh, wait. Oh, there's a legend win effect? There's a hero and an ultra win effect. I did not know that. Podium. I, they must have added these. I will do Rise of the Elder Guardian. Maybe I'll try the Legend one, but I bet tons of people have that. Not a lot of people have the Rise of the uh, Elder Guardian. That's pretty cool. One, two. Ooh. Oh, I already have that. Legendary Magic Missile. A title. Oh, I don't have any titles yet. That's also a new thing. I really want a taunt. If I can get a taunt, oh, that'll be great. Where are my titles? Oh, right here. Magic Missile. There we go. Oh, you can see tags in 1.8. They must have found a way to do that. Because Mindplex Master, you can see that right there. I guess they found a way to do that in uh, 1.8. Duplicate minecart mount. Treasure, 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 and treasure. Garbage. Well, I got a space jacket, but I already own that. I wish this animation thing wouldn't take so long. Keep getting garbage. Only eight left. Ooh. 
Rare secret package. Whatever that is. But it's a hat, and I don't have any hats yet. So that's cool. I think I'll put that on. Secret package. It's literally a secret package. Is that a heart on it? There's a heart on it. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> I got a table flip title, and nothing else getting good. Look at that, guys. Mouse over the book? Yes. Look at that table flip thing right there. That's beautiful. That will now show under my name to everyone else. Rare bloody death effect. Rare shimmering ring. Legendary deal with it! Well, I just got three good things. Gory blood death and shimmering ring. Let me go back to my titles. Ooh, gory blood death. Look at that. So now when someone kills me, that'll show up. Oh, bloody leap is a double jump effect. That's cool. And bloody arrows, too. So I guess I want some good stuff there. Four chests left. Bloody leap again. I got gory blood death again. And bloody leap. I got three cow pets. And a sheep pet. I literally got three cow pets. All right, this is my last treasure. Let's hope it's good. It's probably not going to be. But I've gotten some good stuff. All I want is a taunt, really. If I get a taunt, I will be completely satisfied. One, two, three, and four. Nope. Garbage. All right, no taunts for me. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the end of this video. I got some good stuff out of these chests, and I kind of showed off that new Mindplex game, Gem Hunters. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> this guy's a savage, apparently. But yeah, Mindplex have added a whole lot of new cosmetics. I haven't even seen what the taunts look like. What does the taunt look like? Beats me. But anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's taken around 40 minutes to record, but I should have it edited down to a nice short thing. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment about what you want to see in the future, but that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Now, see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.